you know, when you get on uh, uh, Instagram and you've got people following you from all over the world, South Africa, America, you've kind of got to dilute the Scottish accent. So yeah. they find that really funny. You can maybe develop the Gerard Butler voice where they, had, they say like, Scotland with a D. Scotland. <laughs> also, I, I don't notice we don't pronounce like a R or what else? Somebody says like Pursh. Pursh, Wursh. <laughs> a lost purse. Yeah, I'm like, just can you pass me my purse? What's the issue? <laughs> Welcome to One More Tune. Today I'm going to be talking to a singer and reality TV star whose big break back in Britain's Get Talent in 2012 led to both musical success and also won in 2020's Love Island. Paige With me today in the house is Paige Turley. So let's jump right in. Pick a song that reminds you of home. Oh, a song that reminds me of home is by Adele, and it's called Hometown Glory. From my hometown, my memories so home for me is West Lothian. I think it was as I was leaving to come back, to come down to Manchester, I, I always listened to the song and I could relate to it so much. You know, she speaks about going back to her hometown and walking through the streets and having fond memories and that's exactly the memories that I have when I go home. So what is what does West Lothian hold for you? Like what's what's special about there? Do you know the, the people to be honest? I grew up in Fault House which had so much talent like everybody could sing. I don't know what it was but it was just they had great entertainment. We used to have nights in uh, the welfare in Fault House and it would be amazing. Everybody would be absolutely blitzed, mind you. <laughs> there'd be dancing, there'd be good music. Like, there was just such a community feel. And do you still go back there now and then? Yes, I try and go home at least once a month. I would like to go back a bit more than that, but I, at least once a month. Pick a tune that never gets old. So a tune that never gets old for me is Shania Twain, Man, I Feel Like a Woman. Man, I feel like a woman. Hey! It's an absolute tune. It is. <laughs> no matter where you are, what mood you're in, if you hear just that intro, it's like, right, here you go. <laughs> is, that, is that your uh, karaoke tune? No, it's not my karaoke tune. My karaoke tune is uh, Candy Statton's Young Heart Run Free. Oh, wow. That's another tune, to be fair, but I believe the man I feel like a woman to Shania. So how is the recording process going? Yeah, yeah, so we're working on loads of stuff. Um, COVID was a good and a bad thing for us because, well, I couldn't get into studios with producers, but I was able to do a lot over Zoom and have a lot of time to think what I was actually writing about and kind of understand feelings that, because well, my life took an absolute whirlwind, didn't it? So kind of get a grasp of the feelings and... What happened? Sorry, what happened to your, what happened in your life? Well... <laughs> Move to Manchester, that's all I know. <laughs> um, well, I ended up, I flew out to South Africa and I met a guy. <laughs> Will you be my girlfriend? I'm better with you. <laughs> I couldn't meet one in photo, so I just thought <laughs> it would take me to go to the other side of the world. No, a lot of people have had that experience. Like, for your life to be switched so quickly must be mad to wrap your head around. Yeah, it is. Like, I, I was working in retail. I still lived at home with my mum. And then you're kind of thrown into this new world where you've got a lot of expectation. You've got a lot of people watching you. It's mad for me to get my head around. You know, I am still the girl from Fault House that a lot of my friends, they see me as just the exact same. But you kind of, you forget how big a show Love Island is going into it. It's definitely, it was strange, but it's good. It's been worth it. What do your pals think of your success? How have they managed to, are they, like, dining out on it? I know, they slap me, they laugh at me every, every other day. <laughs> Do you know, when you get on uh, uh, Instagram and you've got people following you from all over the world, South Africa, America, you've kind of got to dilute the Scottish accent. So yeah. they find that really funny. Most of your, your answers here are, are from old soul. So like, who, in, who where did you get that from? Is your like family, musical, does it come down for your mum? My mum and dad can't sing to save themselves. 
<laughs> my dad, he gets chucked out of football parks for singing, that's how bad he is. Um, my uncle, he sings, and my uncle's father, he sung as well. But like, I just grown up, I think around Falthouse as well, I can remember being in pubs and listening to the, the singers from Falthouse singing, and it was all kind of R&B, old soul music that they played, so... I think you know, just fault house in general, the entertainers as well as family were, were my inspirations. Pick a song that reminds you of the best summer of your life. So a song that reminds me of the best summer of my life is Major Lazer's Lean On. And I can remember my first girls summer holiday was when I was 17 and this song had just came out. So it was like Magaluf, you know, kind of dingy wee clubs and they would have the same playlist every yeah. single night. So as soon as that song would come on, you'd be like, oh, this is just the best summer ever. Sitting in the 21 to 30 hotel. Oh, it was, now I think back, it was awful, but at the time it was great. 